I'm Melissa, the founder of ProudDogMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be making an oldie but a goodie dog biscuit. It's actually these. They are gluten-free peanut butter biscuits. I love this one. It's up on my blog. It was also too good not to put into my cookbook, which is called Proud Dog Chef Tail Wagging Good Treat Recipes. I find that most dogs love the flavor. Because I mean, come on, right? It's peanut butter. All right, let's get cooking. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and lining two baking sheets with parchment paper. Set those aside for later and let's get into the ingredients. First, you're going to need to measure out three cups of brown rice flour. A quick note, I always use the spoon and level method when measuring flour versus scooping. So grab a spoon and just spoon the flour into your dry measuring cup and then use the back of a knife to level it off. Next, you're going to need one cup of oat flour measured the same exact way. Whisk those flours together to make sure they are thoroughly combined. And now it's on to the wet ingredients. Into the same mixing bowl, add three quarter cup of water, half a cup of peanut butter. Now I know I say this in every video that uses peanut butter, but make sure to use a natural peanut butter that doesn't use xylitol, which is toxic to dogs. Your best option is a brand that only lists peanuts as the ingredient. And you're also going to need half a cup of 100% pure pumpkin puree. You'll start by mixing it all together with a spoon and then get in there with your hands. Once you've warmed a dough ball, it's time to flatten it out with a rolling pin. To do this, I like to use the sandwich method, which is where I layer a silicone baking mat as a non-slip grip, then a piece of parchment paper, the dough ball, and then another piece of parchment paper on top. It prevents a sticky situation and it's way less messy. Roll that dough out to about a quarter of an inch thick and then use cookie cutters to make cute dog shapes. I'm using a bone today, but use whatever you have at home. Bake for about 25 minutes and then transfer to a wire rack to cool. All right, now that our biscuits are out of the oven and completely cooled, I wanna show you two things. So one is just how crunchy they are. Check out this texture. I love that and so do the dogs. All right, another thing I want you to see, look how many this recipe actually gets you. Now you could always cut it in half if you don't want this many, but good thing to note is they last a while. So keep them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to three weeks. Or if you need them longer, you can put them in the freezer. They do freeze well and they can stay in there for up to three months. I've done it before and then I'll just take it out of the freezer and just hand it to my dog a couple minutes after it's out. So hope your dogs love these just as much as mine do. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, make sure to hit the little bell and then you get notified every single time I post a new video. Happy baking.